St. Andrew's Church is one of the many fascinating colonial era monuments that grace the streets of Chennai. Its architecturally impressive design ranges from a soaring spire to majestic columns and a spectacular dome. St. Andrew's Kirk dates back to 1818 when building began by and for members of Chennai's then thriving Scottish community. The neoclassical and Georgian aspects are modelled on London's St. Martin in the Field Church. The church's well-maintained interior is equally if not more impressive than its exterior. Sit on one of the pews and enjoy a moment of peace and tranquility. This peaceful church has a beautiful story behind this. The church we see here was initially built when British denied entry to the Scottish in their churches. Finally, British allotted their land to the Scottish community in Chennai to build a church, thinking that they would be unable to build a church on a marshy land. However, Scottish were aware of the technology and they had the architect who could build this church on the marshy land. The structure was started on 6th April 1818. About two weeks from today, we'll be having the 200th anniversary of that. And uh, since then, of course, it's been uh, attended by Scotsmen, Scotsmen who served in the British Army. That's why you see a lot of tablets around the place will be relating either to nurses or to Scotsmen in the army who have died, you know, fighting their various wars in India. And uh, after independence, of course, the, the white, brown, uh, the, the locals were allowed to worship here. And over the years, the, uh, more of the browns started uh, attending. The Kirk previously was more like an exclusive club where you know the membership of the Kirk was considered to be if you if you are a member of the Kirk you have arrived in Chennai, that was the perception those days. Uh, but slowly over the years we have made it more egalitarian. We have uh, made our membership uh, available to everybody who is willing to serve the community, willing to serve the church. And now we have about 350 to 400 active members, families. Saint Andrew is the patron saint of uh, Saint of God, Scotland. So wherever you find a, a church built by the Scots, it will be called St. Andrew's Church. And what is significant in this, uh, uh, again the significance of the name St. Andrew, uh, in the 1800s, when this, when this church was started, there were five churches started all over India. That is, um, of course, then it was Madras, Bombay, Delhi, Bangalore and Allahabad. That is a, actually a picture of uh, St. Andrew because he was supposed to have been nailed to a cross uh, can you in an X. Which one? These pillars, as you see here, is not a normal structure. It goes deeper down and rests on a platform. This platform floats on the marsh and adjusts its movement according to the marsh. This engineering marvel has played in architecture. It was designed and executed by Major Thomas D. Haviland and Colonel James Cladwell of Madras Engineers. The stained glass windows above the main altar in warm, rich colour are among the glories of the church. This place is a wonderful combination of beauty and peace. Services are held every Sunday at 7am, 9am and 6pm. This is an architectural marvel located in the heart of Chennai city. In a few days, it will be completing its 200 years. Serenity, harmony or faith, there is something with this place that would always allow you for surreal satisfaction. With Camera Person Srinath, this is Gaurav for Good Morning Chennai.